don't know, my luck be horrible, for real. Like, look, right here. And these are my San Fran shoes. Man, I love Neo. Neo, man, where do we start? It's been a journey for sure. We've had our ups, we've had our downs. Emphasis on those ups though. It's been absolutely amazing to see the progress made through this organization, the impact that folks have been able to make. And all of that starts with, um, thanks to Daniel, right? Who started off with this vision that he had of bringing the support to the community during a time where folks truly needed it, right? In witnessing um, the murders of black men like George Floyd, black women like Breonna Taylor, and bringing about some sort of change within this community that was gonna bridge folks together, but support them um, in kind of driving a more equitable future for the folks in this community. And so with that, you know, we kind of took things on into this next school year um, with this executive team that's done an absolutely amazing job. You know, I cannot thank them enough, right, for being such an amazing team that brought what we were able to do this year to fruition. And what we'd love to do for you all today is to walk you through this journey to, to witness the amazing work that we've able, been able to do throughout this last year. And with that being said, I won't talk too much more, but let's give you a deep dive into this year in a recap. So there were four major changes that we brought about over this last school year, one of them being the development program. So the development program is geared specifically towards underclassmen or anyone who doesn't necessarily have experience in data analytics or consulting period. The program was developed to equip people with the skills necessary to build that skill set in data analytics and consulting so that they're prepared to enter the role as an analyst as they move their way throughout the course of the organization. With bringing about the development program, we were able to really expand ourselves as an organization, going from previously having uh, about 20 or so folks in the organization to doubling in size to about 50 folks across the entire organization. And so that was a major move, if I do say so myself, for the organization in the course of our growth. So the second new initiative that we brought about was the rebrand, right? So we started off with having the memorable green being the face of the organization, right? But we immediately transitioned throughout the course of this rebrand into bringing about this blue field, which was very fresh, very new, but also showcases the fact that, you know, we're about our business. I want to give a major shout out to the creative team for being able to bring something about like this that's showcased in such a professional manner. And one thing I want to emphasize here is the fact that, yes, we are a data analytics organization, but that doesn't mean we can't get creative and have fun with it at the same time. So in bringing about this rebrand, we also brought a really cool aspect to the organization that we hadn't previously thought of before, which are the infamous Neo Podcast, which you can find on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. But really the idea behind bringing about these podcasts um, was to not only showcase the beauty of the different folks that we have within this community, but also showcasing how they're using data analytics within their businesses, within their roles, but also how you can make a difference in the community. So as a part of bringing about these new initiatives, there were a lot of learning opportunities for the folks within the organization. Um, as you know, you're bringing about these new things, it's important to realize that things aren't gonna be perfect from the first go, but what's important here is to take things slow, to make sure that you're planning throughout the course of the process, and to also make note of any of the challenges that you went through and make sure that you have a strategy to overcome them. And I think that the team was able to do exactly that throughout the course of bringing these new things about. And you can simply see it through the work that we've been able to push out that 
all of that stuff really like we did our thing we did our thing so while we've done some absolutely amazing work this school year none of it would be possible without our outside supporters being our clients our partners and any of the speakers that we've brought in the clients we've had this year have just been exceptional right we've had black owned voice of your customer tfit wellness gpd creative agency and you've got the Minority Business Assistance Center. So these clients have been extremely pivotal in the experiences of the analysts themselves, as well as the project leads, and everyone else, of course, within exec. Beyond our clients, we've also got the speakers that we were able to bring in this year, starting off with the wonderful Empo, um, who came in to talk about the basics of consulting. So you've also got Dr. Valencia Moses, who came in to shed some light on her experiences and drop some gems on us per usual. Um, and then you've also got folks like Shonda Monroe Williams, who is the executive director of the Urban Impact Studio, who came in to shed light on her background, her consulting experience, and as well shed a couple of gems on a lot of the students um, during our general body meeting. And then you've got a constant constant supporter of ours, which is Amend, who came in and gave a Power BI workshop to the students. So when I tell you there are so many folks within this community have who have really poured into this organization, beyond an organization, this family that folks have been able to create through this org, um, it's been absolutely amazing. And to see the growth of the individuals within the org has been beautiful, to say the least. We would love to continue this journey of growth um, as a community, but growth in terms of upskilling the analysts, upskilling the exec and PLs that we've got within this amazing organization. The work that we've been able to do has truly transformed the lives of some of our clients, right? You've got Good Company Apparel right over here who used to previously be a client of ours and now you know, they've got their own storefront. They are actually, uh, they've got a little shop in um, Kenwood Town Center. So it's absolutely amazing to see how you can stroll through the streets of Cincinnati and come across one of our clients. And so with that, you know, we want to continue to make that same impact in the lives of our clients and really just continue to grow this family. So it's been absolutely amazing to be a part of this journey that Neil has gone through with over the course of this last school year. And I gotta say, I'm super excited for this next chapter in the organization as a whole. And so with that being said, it's looking like that's a wrap on this 2022-2023 year in review with Neil. But with that said, we'll wrap it up with this one. Neil, wow, oh dang, I forgot to say that. <laughs>